Hey everybody, uh, this is Brendan from Hack Media. Uh, just really quick before we begin, I want to kind of explain what's going on right here tonight. Uh, we're testing right now some proof of concepts for a live show, or several live shows. Uh, we noticed that we still want to be doing produced content, but making it something for YouTube or making it for pretty much anything that's not Twitch right now is not going very well. Um, with demonetization and all that, probably the best chance we have of getting our content seen and appreciated is absolutely by doing it on Twitch. Uh, so tonight, for your pleasure, I put together a Windows XP stock music radio. Uh, the program will go for about half an hour, and it'll pretty much just be a lot of songs, and I'll stop in between to uh, talk about them and give a little history. So uh, without further ado... Here's our first song for the night. Our first track of the evening was Flourish by Nathan Grigg. This is based on a hidden MIDI file in Windows 98 that is used when you're using an Internet Explorer channel feature. And if you remember Internet Explorer channels, you're in the right place. Welcome to Brendan Cyberspace on WHEK 42069 FM, your one-stop shop for all your nostalgic needs. The titular Brendan, he is I, ladies and germs, and tonight we'll be delving into the synthetic yet classic world of Windows XP stock music. That is, the music that is present on a clean OS installation. For the uninitiated among us, Windows XP is a personal computer operating system that was produced by Microsoft as part of the Windows NT family of operating systems. It was released to manufacturing on August 24, 2001, and broadly released for retail sale on October 25th of the same year. Upon its release, Windows XP received generally positive reviews, with critics noting increased performance, overall stability, more intuitive user interface, improved hardware support, and expanded multimedia capacities when, in, when compared to Windows ME, which was the previous operating system. Our second song for the night will be Highway Blues by Mark Seals and the New Stories. Mark Seals is an American jazz pianist associated with the post-bop movement. As a professor of jazz piano at the University of Washington, Seattle, Seals has worked with Benny Carter, Howard Roberts, Bobby Hutcherson, and Art Pepper, just to name a few. His groups include the New Stories, who are featured on this track, and the Mark Seals Quartet. Seals won the Earshot Jazz Golden Ear Award for Best Instrumentalist in 1999. A coveted trophy, I'm sure. So, here comes Highway Blues by Mark Seals.
That again was a nice jazzy number called Highway Blues from Mark Seals. And the new stories. Has a lot more funk in it than a lot of these do. A lot of these tend to be a lot more electronic sounding because of the MIDI instrumentation, but Mark Seals pulls it off very well. Now for a quick commercial break and a little bit of a word from our sponsors. Hello, Mrs. Lindsay. William. Hello, Stephen. You're not by any chance computer shopping, are you? Mm-hmm, if I can get some help. Well, right now, you can get a complete Dell system with an Intel Pentium 4 processor, which is so nice, for only $8.99. Really? She's intrigued. Excellent. Because right now, it comes with your choice of a free CD burner or DVD upgrade. And as far as service and support, Dell's won more awards than any other PC company in the last five years. Just call or go online. Tell them what you want, and right to your front door comes America's favorite PC. Thanks, Steven. Now you can get a Dell desktop with an Intel Pentium 4 processor, which delivers performance where you need it most. And six months of Dellnet by MSN Internet Access for just $8.99. Call or go online today and get a free CD burner or DVD upgrade. There's great deals on notebooks, too. Dude, you're getting a Dell. Easy to buy, easy to own, easy as Dell. Hit it! Coming at you right between the ears is Hit Clip Music to get you grooving. Hit Clips is a slick micro audio system. This type package is small. It pumps out monster sound. It breaks down like this. We clip, clip, clip. And sample songs so only the grooves stick. Plus with the micro boom box, load the mother load. Some of these songs available now. More this fall, you can collect them all. Hit Clips, each sold separately. Welcome, you've got mail. Click, click, talk it up. AOL email. Grab some movies, some tunes. Instant messages. All my buddies are on it. AOL movie phone. AOL gives me power at my fingertips. AOL is where it's at. Goodbye. Check out America Online for a thousand hours free for 45 days. Pop this DVD into your computer today. Welcome back, everyone, to Brendan's Cyberspace on WHEK 420 FM, the home of Willie and the Boner, in the morning on the weekend whack. Our next piece of the night is titled One Stop and was composed by David Yackley in the year 2000, a.k.a. THE New Millennium. I tell you about it in my own words, but Raymond Chen, noted Windows development blogger, had this to say about One Stop. If you look into your Windows Media folder, you'll find a MIDI file called One Stop. What's the story behind this odd little MIDI file? Aaron Margosis, another noted development blogger, considers this file a security risk, because if an attacker can cause that file to be played. It will cause lasting mental pain and anguish to everyone with an earshot. Despite Wikipedia's claims, the file is not an Easter egg. The file was added in Windows XP with the comment, add cool MIDI files to replace the bad ones. So as bad as One Stop is, the old ones must have been even worse. But okay, why were they added? For product support. The product support team wants at least one MIDI file present on the system by default for troubleshooting purposes. That way, problems with MIDI playback can be diagnosed without making the customer go to a web page and download a MIDI file. When asked why the song is so awful, the developer who added the file explained, Believe it or not, one stop is less bad than the ones it replaced, such as Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. Another one, <clears throat> another reason for replacing the old MIDI file is that the new one exercises more instruments. Now I don't know about all that, but what I can tell you is Here Comes One Stop by David Yackley, only on WAGK 42069 FM, only in Brendan Cyberspace.
And frankly, I'm not exactly sure what all the complaining was about. I might have to get into contact with one certain Raymond Chen and disagree. And also, might have to get in contact with Aaron Margosis. But hey, maybe they know more than me. They probably do. Our fourth track tonight was made iconic by Stanley Kubrick's 1971 film, A Clockwork Orange, and which was based on the 1962 Anthony Burgess novel of the same name. The Symphony No. 9 in D minor is the final complete symphony by the German composer Ludwig von Beethoven, composed between 1822 and 1824. It was first performed in Vienna on, <laughs> on May 7th, 1824. For anyone who is curious, that is from the second movement, the Scherzo. And, since we are almost done with the night, uh, we have two more songs to go. We do have a second commercial break. So, stay tuned. We'll be right back with Brendan Cyberspace on WHEK 42069FM. What if your car knew you, anticipated your needs, and then reacted to meet them? What if it could adjust to how long your legs are? What if it could help protect you in an accident? With sensors that know where your seat is positioned and the severity of the crash, so the front airbags react to you. What if it went even further? Wouldn't that make sense? What if it could prevent potential problems or light the road better at night? What if its testing exceeded anything the real world can dish out? Is that possible? What if it made genius obvious and brilliance accessible? It's time to stop wondering what if. Introducing the new 2004 Taurus. Squishy, stretchy, and transforms almost anything? Ah! Foam is fun you can feel. Roll it, mold it, or cover it. That's the way you foam it. Look, now you can turn anything into a fabulous foam creation. Transform this wooden fossil into a fierce foam T-Rex. Turn this ordinary toy car into a foaming fast dragster. Or change this plain dollhouse into a foam-tastic mansion. Foam sticks to almost anything. And when you're done, squish it back and start all over or let it harden and keep it forever. Look, clay is messy and hard to start, but foam turns fun into a work of art. Check it out. Tiny foam microbeads magically stick together and form to any shape you want. Now craft fancy foam to wear. Model creepy foam critters or build an erupting volcano of foam. Plus, mix and match colors for any design you can imagine. Create a stylish jewelry case or a funky foam base. 
foam your pencils so they're cool. Or show some spirit at school. Make costume masks, even foam rainbow glass. Take foam outside and the fun will go on. Foam your bike, a scooter, a skateboard, your shoes. With foam in your hands, the fun never stops. Just ask anyone who foams, from parents to tots. Foam, it's fun you can feel. See this kid? Hi, Bobby. He's lucky. He's got a big mouth. A mouth big enough for honeycomb. Biggest pieces in the galaxy. Plus an awesome honey sweet crunch for a giant taste that's part of this good breakfast. Why not give honeycomb a shot? But only if you've got the mouth for it. Big mouth wanted. The new 2004 Taurus with the advanced personal safety system. Welcome back to Brennan Cyberspace on WHEK 420-69 FM. We all have fond memories of Windows XP, that is undeniable. The classic Rolling Hills default background, which is a piece titled Bliss, taken by the photographer Charles O'Rear. Yes, that's correct. That is a photograph, not a digitally rendered image, believe it or not. Matter of fact, let's show that right now. Haha, <laughs> Windows Media Player. There it is. That's a photograph. A lot of people think it's uh, computer generated. It's not. Uh, and it was taken in 1966. 1996, excuse me. <clears throat> Uh, the Rolling Hills Bliss background became a pop culture icon, appearing in numerous movies and television shows throughout the 2000s to 2010. Our next song is Town by Nathan Grigg, the composer of our first track of the night, Flourish. Grigg is still a big name in the industry, leading his talents to notable video game series such as Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor, and the Fear franchise. Stay in the game that long ain't easy. Good on you, Grigg. <laughs> And our final song for the night, sorry to see it go, but it was a good little run, and I think we uh, I think we have proven that this is a this is a concept that will absolutely work in the future. Uh, our final song for the night is the Windows Welcome Music, also known as Title.WMA, which is the piece that plays at the end of the installation process while setting up a fresh install of Windows XP. Found in C slash Windows slash System32 slash OOBE slash Images in Windows XP, uh, this file format, used by title, which is WMA, stands for Windows Media Audio. It is playable in Windows Media Player, Media Player Classic, and in Real Player. And here's a little excerpt from the Microsoft Fan Wiki. The composer is unknown, and the file simply tags Microsoft as a contributing artist. Various websites credit Brian Eno or Suzanne Ciani as his composer, but this appears to be speculation. So thank you guys for joining us tonight for this little pilot, this little episode. And uh, I think proof of concept has been proven. I think we'll be able to do this more in the future. 
So again, thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Brendan with Heck Media, and don't forget to get your Neopets spayed and neutered. Good night. Thank you.